when you arrive on the page, um, if you scroll down, just going to show you a quick overview of the activity. Click on Sitting Bird, and the Sitting Bird file opens. Students have to piece together, back together again, this bird um, by moving the vectors and dragging the pieces into place. Obviously, that's not where it should go. And then once they've seen what the vector is as an arrow, they need to record the column vector in the Word document. If it's printed off in front of you, you can do that. Um, or you can double click in here and you can enter it into uh, Microsoft Word's equation editor. So whatever vector you think that might be. Um, once done that, it's up to students now to make your own. This is at the end of the activity. We'll come back to that to make your own creation. So the polygon tool, if you're using GeoGebra, um, click on it. I'm going to make maybe a house this time. So there's the triangle for the roof. I make exactly the same shape over here. And then I get the vector tool. I'm doing this quickly. There's a help video, which I'll show you in a second. And then I'm going to translate that vector, that object by this vector. And that's how you build your own vector creation. So first of all, you build your picture and then you build the exploded parts ready to vectorize them on. Um, that's not a word. I just made it up. And then if you need some tech help, you can go to this file here, which you can either use Autograph or GeoGebra. Click on that and it will show you how to make those files. So that's a quick overview of the activity. Finishing off with um, vector football, you need to find five different vectors. That's the key thing. So you enter your vector in here. Three, four. Ow! Ah, stubbed my toe in the turf. Didn't quite reach the goal. Um, that's the actual vector notation in column format, not in coordinate format like this. Let's have another go. A bit embarrassing, that last one. Uh, I just wired the post, at least it's respectable, and then I can reset. That's the overview of the activity. Then if we want to go into more detail, um, I think that one's clear. If we go back to the bird and making your own one, I'm not going to go into detail on this. You can look at the help videos. They explain it clearly what you're expected to do. And for the bird, um, once you've dragged the arrow, imagine I thought that triangle should go there, so I'm worked with triangle E using drag me E that went one two three four five six to the left one two three four up six to the left is minus six four up just like on axes when you go up it's positive when you go down it's negative so I need to type in minus six four for vector E so I go to vector E and I type in minus six and four then I might go to vector F. OK, let's go back to that. And now where do I think vector F is going to go? Drag me F, vector F. I think it's going to go in there. So I've gone one, two, three, four, five left and one up. So minus five because I've gone left just like on an axis and one up. So I type in vector F minus five and one up. You get the idea. And the idea of your creation when you've made your creation is that you've set loads of tasks for your partner to do um, with all the drag me's and he's got to fill in his vectors down here for your creation. So the same table, you can just copy and paste it in here and then your partner will fill that in for the creation that you make and pass on to him. That's the activity. Best of luck. Enjoy.